My art is about enlightening and informing people about issues. I was the revolutionary artist of the Black Panther Party. There was segregation here in the Bay Area and all over the country. They would show on the national news the dogs being sicked on the marchers, being sprayed with the hoses, being beaten with the batons. You would see that. First time I got arrested was 13 years old. I was out there shooting dice with the older guys. If I was just being bad as a youngster, and I went to the California Youth Authority, I was accepted to work in the print shop there. And that was really my first introduction to graphic designing. The symbol of the Panther came from Alabama during the Civil Rights Movement. Huey Newton Bobby Seale took up the challenge and started the Black Panther Party. So their discipline, determination to want to fight against the injustice. Even though some of that may have been a foreign language for me from coming out of the hood and where I was, I didn't come in as intellectual. The initial idea behind the paper was to inform and to enlighten and to educate people about the basic issues in the community and to tell our story from our own perspective. We had an X-Acto blade, some white sheets of paper. We would typeset them on the typewriter with the ball. We couldn't only afford but one color ink, and so it was black plus one other color. Community wasn't then a reading community, but they learned through observation and participation. To get that bold, broad look, I began to mimic woodcuts with markers and pens, playing with shadows and photographs. People would get the gist of the story through just looking at the pictures and maybe reading the captions. We were creating a culture, a culture of resistance, a culture of defiance and self-determination. As we evolved, we developed into a full-fledged operation. I became the Minister of Culture. He wanted me to draw this pig, stand it up on the two hoofs, put the belt around it, and that became the symbol of those who were abusing their power. Not necessarily everything I do is provocative. A lot of it is based on fact. It may be a provocative interpretation, but it's not a distorted interpretation. Being able to use my art to enlighten and to form and educate, all that is a part of the legacy. So that's what I continue to do.